printing something and framing something I'm, I'm always thinking uh, you know like who, who needs that there are so many images in the world why would I produce some more I'm a full-time artist whose background is in photography and I'm uh, mainly uh, working with, uh, with photography but not maybe in a strict sense, uh, meaning that I'm, I'm also using a lot of uh, already existing images, uh, appropriate and reuse the images, uh, for example, from advertising. I uh, completed the project which is uh, based on the ones that are advertising wristwatches and uh, it started as I came across uh, with an image in eBay the size of the magazine page just ripped off from the magazine and I really liked the image and, and then I decided okay now I'm go going to collect um, which depict uh, male and female hands for a while I had been collecting them I, I discovered that most of the brands uh, they are using the same time 10 past 10 so my project is uh, about this concept, 10 past 10, and, and the images with male and female hands. These are so carefully uh, composed images and, uh, and they are always kind of like scenes. Is it 10 past 10 in the morning or is it in the evening? Is it some scene that is taking place between people who are married or are they lovers or like a romantic dinner? You know, all these kind of questions that, uh, uh, that pop up if you are looking at those images. So basically, uh, the two hands they are referring something you know else outside of the image and and I think it's there it's also the gender question is very interesting it's it's mostly the female hand that is is put on top of the male hand yeah I mean I've been interested in general uh, in my work how different genders are represented uh, on the images yeah a lot of works are kind of like uh, using it as a, a, a departure point, like this interest. Uh, previously I've been also uh, exploring how female workers have been uh, de uh, depicted during the Soviet period. So this is something that is, you know, this interest, is, it's always there. The only photographing I've been, I've been doing myself uh, has been actually uh, shop windows. I started it in Belgium uh, because, uh, how to say, very rich culture of, uh, of window displays. Uh, and I think it al already comes from the beginning of 20th century. And this is something uh, we don't have uh, uh, in Estonia, for example. So first I started to uh, photograph yeah, really old shops, like this kind of like vintage uh, family-owned uh, businesses. Uh, then I moved on uh, photographing like uh, uh, really contemporary, like uh, flagship store displays and so on. I think right now I have like 30 images and I have to figure out what to do with them. For an artist working with photography nowadays, I think it's uh, it's really a challenging question what to do with your material because the photo on the wall is is uh, is the format that is uh, kind of uh, it's not sufficient anymore. It's something that is uh, regarded as as not very interesting anymore. Like why am I doing exactly like this? Maybe some sort of other format is better for this work or is better for this situation, for example. And I think these were the questions that, uh, that didn't exist like uh, 10 years ago. So yeah, as I said, like sometimes I'm really struggling before I find the, like the right uh, way of presentation. But I think when you are really true to your, your, uh, your own interests, uh, I think everything all these different pieces eventually they, they fall into place.